Let's show a little SMART analysis. SMART is a monitoring system that you can use to analyze hard drives. It stands for Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. So it's a monitoring system included with most hard drives that creates reporting data which can be accessed within an operating system or outside the operating system. So you can view some basic information for smart based hard drives in the command prompt in Windows. And so for example, we could use WMIC and we'd run the WMIC disk drive space get space status command. And when we do so, it tells us both drives we have are okay. Well, we have two drives on here. We've got a uh, two solid state drives. One is a two and a half inch drive. That's where the operating system is. And the other is an M.2 drive where I keep a lot of data. So both are okay. So you get basic information there. So that means Windows didn't find any issues. If you were to get a message that said bad or unknown or caution or something similar to that, then you should... Uh, do some more analysis. Now, there's also third-party tools that you can use to get additional information. For example, AIDA64 uh, for Windows, the disk utility in Mac OS, GNOME disks for Linux, and uh, another program, SpinWrite. One of the problems with smart data is that it can be unreliable at times if there is a lack of support with the hardware or with the third-party application. And there's a lot of information that you'll see, so you might, uh, some people might incorrectly diagnose the data. You have to diagnose carefully. So let's take a look at another example. This is my NAS box. It's a Synology NAS box, and it's running a RAID 1 array. So network attached storage. And this is the software to control it and to work with it and configure it. And from here, you can view smart data. So if we go here to our main menu and bring up the storage manager, we'll see that our system is healthy, but we want to get more information than just that. So we'll go down to HDD SSD. And actually, both of these drives are hard disk drives. They're magnetic-based drives. Click on that. And we'll see both drives. And it says normal for both, which is good. And you could view information for either one. I'll go to disk two. And we'll go to health info. And of course, you'd want to do this for both. But we'll take a look here. We'll see the health status is normal. And the smart status is normal. And we can find more information here. And, and by the way, the uh, temperature, 33 degrees Celsius is normal and good. But we can find more information by clicking on the Smart Info tab. And you can see lots of attributes that are tested by the drive over time. So you have to analyze these carefully if there is any issues, any types of error status. But everything is okay for these drives right now. And again, you want to watch for things, errors, bad, unknown, cautions, and so on. And we can initiate tests as well. So, for example, if we're not sure or if one of these particular attributes had a bad status, we could go to Smart Test and run either a quick test or an extended test, which will take a long time and you'd want to do that off hours. But we'll run a quick test right now and we'll start that up. It takes about two minutes. And so we'll let that run and come back when it's done. Okay, and our test completed. And it shows it completed as normal. So we're in good shape here. But again, it should have been that way because our smart info is showing that in the status. But once in a while, you may want to do an extended test, perhaps every year or so. Because hard drives will have a limited shelf life, limited lifespan. So consider running tests like this every six months or one year uh, periodically run those extended tests. Now, sometimes you might be worried about a drive that's making noise. If uh, you have a magnetic-based drive that's 
making strange noises or clicking sounds or grinding noises, then it's not recommended that you do one of these tests, especially an extended test, because that might just push the drive over the edge. It might cause damage to it. That usage of that extended test could complete the damage that's already there. So you want to watch out for uh, drives making any noise. And you want to watch out for power issues as well. Some of the smart data that you get in the status might not actually be the hard drive. It could be a power issue. It could be an underpowered system or a system that's on a grid, you know, elect connected to some type of electrical grid that has dirty power. And because of that, we're getting uh, corrupted files being written to the drive and we're getting these types of errors. So you always want to check your electrical connection at the AC outlet. And for a device like this, I would always connect it to, you know, at least a line conditioner. Usually in this case, this is connected to a UPS and APC UPS so that we have that line conditioning for voltage and we have backup power as well. So if, you know, the power goes out, this won't just shut down. It'll uh, be, it's set actually to do a graceful shutdown after five minutes well within the battery power of the UPS. So, uh, you know, keep in mind the power could actually be the issue when you see some uh, problems here in the status. So there's a little bit about smart analysis. Check out some of the tools I mentioned uh, and also WMIC in the command prompt and see if your hard drive can do smart analysis. And that's it for this video.